Hello friends, welcome back to TubeShala, your go-to channel for all the things in Excel. Today we are diving into the world of drop-down menus. Whether you are a beginner or an Excel pro, stick around as we explore multiple methods to create drop-down menus in Excel. So let's get started. First up, let's explore the classic method using data validation. First of all, select the cell where you want the drop-down menu to appear. Then navigate to the data tab on the Excel ribbon. Click on the data validation in the data tools group. In the data validation dialog box, select list from the allow drop-down menu. In the source field, enter the list of items you want in your drop-down menu separated by comma. And then click OK to apply. And there you have it, a simple drop-down menu using data validation. Let us now begin to explore Another method of creating drop-down menu in Excel using data validation. Here all the steps are pretty much similar to the previous method, but here the source is provided in a different manner. So let us begin. Again, select the cell where you want the drop-down menu to appear. Then navigate to the data tab on the Excel ribbon. Click on the data validation in the data tools group. In the data validation dialog box, select list from allow drop-down menu. Now in the source, rather than entering the list of items separated by comma, we shall enter the source by selecting or referencing the range of cells where the list is located. Now click OK to apply and voila, there you have it. A simple drop-down menu uh, cre getting created using data validation but the difference here is that in the previous method we have given the source as comma separated items in the source tab itself whereas in this particular method we have referenced to another set of cells which has the list of items to appear in the drop-down menu. Stay tuned to TubeShala for more Excel tips and tricks. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content. Until next time, happy Excelling. Thank you very much.